Hi everyone, this video will focus on the Etude House Dear Darling Water Gel Tint. I know this has been out for a while now, but I finally got all six of the colors from the ice cream edition. Look how adorable the packaging are. And I just have to show you how the boxes look like as well because it's so cute. Basically, the three points for this is that it's supposed to give you a vivid tint, supposed to give you a hydrating lips because of the berry extract. And also it focuses on five different ready shades. So what I'm going to do is, as always, I'm going to show you guys how it looks like as a gradient lip as a fuller lip but first I'm just going to show you the packaging how it looks like and this is the first swatch I decided to um, show you this PK06 first just because I feel like there's no color in there I don't see any red color oh I just see it's just glitter I can see why they have this one I guess like you can put this you can lay it on top of another color it will look really pretty but I just feel like there's no really point using it just as itself but to be honest the shimmery is actually really beautiful you don't feel like there's glitter on your lips at all which is nice next this is PK004 which is the next pink shade in the collection but as you can see their target as you can see it says red bean red why would you name red bean red it's quite cute i guess but yeah this leans more towards the pinkish reddish side and it is quite sheer on me so it looks a bit like my lip color so for this particular shade, I would use it if I want like a no makeup makeup day. So like if I want a gloss on my lips, I would probably use this. For this tint overall, I feel that it is very sheer. The colors is not as pigmented as I expected. I guess you can really layer it, but it doesn't get you that vivid pigmented color lips if you're looking for that kind for a tint. This is more like a leaning towards the glossy side of tint because it's quite watery. So it does take a while for it to dry up. So do remember remember that but I guess as you can see on the picture on the model itself you can see how glossy it is anyway so I guess I can't really complain about this because you can see that you know it is for the summer it's supposed to be hydrating and moisturizing now this one is peach red it's a beautiful color it is a very nice pinkish color so it's quite natural I like it a lot and you can sort of see the similarity with the colors they are very um they have all this red tone underneath next this is or205 so this is the only orange shade or like the orangey name shade so on my lips it is darker than the model the models one is quite light and more corally orangey but for me it's more orangey pinkish if that makes sense it's just it's a bit different from um, my lips just because i feel like my lips is quite pigmented probably compared to the model maybe the model doesn't have a pigmented lip i'm not sure but for me it leans more towards the orangey ready shade which i actually quite like so it does look nice on me next is rd306 and i love love this color as you can see can you see the difference between that shade compared to the other shade it is so pigmented like I feel like the next two shades this shade and the next shade is the most pigmented out of this collection and I feel like this one is like a beautiful strawberry red color it is such a nice color as a gradient and if you lay it up for a fuller lip it is so beautiful I really like it however I feel that it is not long lasting at all so it only lasts for a very short amount of time so once you drink and once you eat it disappears it doesn't really stain your lips it stains a little bit but once you eat more or drink more it just completely disappears so you can actually rub it off with water next is rd307 this is more like a watermelon pink color which is very nice as well i really like it so overall my favorite would be rd307 which is this one and the previous one rd306 and probably pk005 which is like the pinky shade overall this turn is actually pretty affordable itself i mean like it's not as what expected not as pigmented but i can see where their target is this is definitely great for those you know student type where you want to use a bit of makeup but you don't want it to be too obvious this turn are actually perfect for you so here comes the rating i just have to be quite blunt i'm sorry but longevity obviously 205 because I told you guys it's not long lasting pigmentation is not as pigmented as I want it to be but it's different on people's preference so overall I'm just gonna give it 10.5 out of 20 so I hope you guys enjoy the swatches and please thumbs up subscribe if you wanna see more and I'll see you next time bye